Have you ever come across a hijacker? Now, I'm not talking about when you're on a plane. I'm talking about just in dealing with people generally in life. They're the kind of people that whatever you're talking about, they manage to kind of like turn the conversation back to them. But there's probably actually what I would reckon there's, there's three types of hijackers. Um, the first type, probably the most common, is what I call the I can top that hijacker. Let me explain. My wife and I were involved in some uh, credit card fraud issue recently and um, we'd, we'd been caught by the police and were facing an imprisonment. That, that was a joke, by the way, that was a joke. We'd actually had some money taken out of our account. Someone had cloned the card. Um, not a great experience. We were fairly confident we'd get the money back, but um, we might be in what you might call hippo time. And if you've not come across hippo time yet, it's one of my sumo principles, which is where you just need a little bit of a wallow. And when you need a wallow, when something bad like that's happened, you just need to offload things. And uh, a friend came round and she's just chatting away, asking us how we are. And we said, oh, you're not going to believe this. We've had £3,000 taken out of our account. Basically, we're victims of credit card fraud. Before we could get into the next sentence, she went, oh, same thing happened to my sister three years ago. And she then just dominated the conversation for the next three minutes. Can I just say, I don't know your sister. It happened to you three years ago. It happened to us today. This is my story. Stop flipping, hijacking it. You ever come across anyone like that? Or what about the other character, the other type of hijacker? Not I can top that. They're the kind of character that says, um, oh, I can solve that. You know, and you know when you've had just a bit of an issue and you want to just get it off your chest. You know, you might have had a, a nightmare journey into work and you just want someone to listen to you and to understand what does that I can solve that hijacker do? You know, you go, oh, I've had a nightmare into it. Well, you know what you should have done? You should have taken the A34, cut round across B&Q, gone here, gone there. They're out about to produce a multi-map for you. It's like, look, will you shut up? I just wanted to tell you about my difficult journey. You don't even understand me problem before you're trying to give me a solution. I think that happens with couples, you know. Typically, it's this way around. A woman says... We don't go out anymore. I mean, when did we last go out, you know, since we've had the kids? You know, just us two together. What does the bloke do? I'll take you to the pictures tomorrow. Problem sorted. Now give me the remote control. Let me check the football results. Now, for the bloke, he thought there was a problem and he solved it instantly. Whereas maybe for the woman involved in that situation, she wanted a little bit more understanding and exploration about what's actually going on behind the statement, we don't go out anymore. So you've got the hijacker who I can top that. There's the hijacker who can, I can solve that. And then of course there's that third one. Maybe not as common, but I come across them occasionally. The, the mind reading hijacker. You know, you're, you're about, you pause for breath and they are constantly finishing off your sentences for you. And I've got a friend of mine called Mark. Now Mark, he doesn't just finish off my sentences for me, he gets it wrong every time. Hijackers. They can be really frustrating when you've got to live with them or you've got to work with them. Now, in the book, I look at a number of strategies on how to deal with them. First thing to think about, though, is this. As you were hearing about the hijacker, are you guilty of being one sometimes? I know I certainly have been. So it's good to be just more self-aware. Because, you know, sometimes people just need to have a little bit of centre stage. It's their story. And maybe it's time not to just hijack them, it's time to just give them a good listening tip. Another tip if you come across a hijacker is what I call the Magnus Magnuson approach. Remember he was the guy that um, was the host for the TV series Mastermind and his catchphrase was, I've started so I'll finish. And I think sometimes when you're dealing with a hijacker and they start to interrupt you, it might well be, uh, can, hang on a sec, can I, can I just finish what I was saying please? Or if they take over, then you kind of like then bring it back by going, well, anyway, as, as I was saying. So that's one very useful tip. Another one is just sometimes to say to people, look, I need you to listen. I don't want you to give me a solution. I don't want you to tell me your story. I just need to have a bit of a vent here. I need to get things off my chest. And actually be really upfront and warn them that you don't want to be hijacked. And I guess a third tip is sometimes just to be a good role model. 
In other words, I occasionally have found myself interrupting people and realising I'm hijacking them. And what I've started to get into the habit of doing is going, oh, sorry I interrupted you, you were saying. So, hijackers, they're out there. I can top that, I can solve that, and the mind reader. Beware that you might be sometimes a hijacker, one of those three, or even a combination of all three. And think about some of the tips to both deal with them for yourself if you're a hijacker, but also when you're dealing with others who are like that. One of my sumo characters, the hijacker.